everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and I have a absolute beautiful kit to share with you today. And I am talking about the brand new, soon to be released Border Models 135th, that's right, 135th, not 32nd, Folk Wolf 190A6. And this kit, if you saw the little YouTube short I did when I first got the sprues, kind of showed everybody, it has got a full engine inside of this thing, which is a beautiful BMW plus the uh, parts of the wings open up. You can see the guns, just a beautiful looking kit with all of the detail that's in there. So this kit is pretty much done right here. So we expect to see these ship out from the manufacturer very, very soon. I don't have an exact date or a price yet. I'll have that just in a few days. And as soon as I have all of that, we will have these up for pre-order on our website at andyshhq.com because uh, this is going to sell very well. The, the Stuka and the 109, which also came out in 35th scale, sold extremely well. Uh, this kit kind of blows them away. This is absolutely beautiful inside this kit. So uh, I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's get started. And this is the Border Models 35th scale. Remember, 35th scale. So this will match up with all of your AFEs and any of the figures that you might have. This is the Fuck Wolf FW190A6. And this one includes the weapons interior, the weapons bay interior, I should say, as well as a beautiful BMW uh, full engine inside, which they kind of show you on the side of the box here. So let's take a look inside right now. Okay, so here we are. Here is our very first sprue. This is the H sprue, and we're going to start right off with this beautiful BMW engine that is included in the kit. And I am just going to get in here tight so you can see the detail that is on here. Even look at this up here. This is really nice looking. And it gets better. So we have our exhaust here. And if you notice, hopefully we can get this to focus. On the end, the exhausts have been hollowed out because they've been all slide molded on this edge piece here. So take a look at those beautiful exhaust pipes. Shouldn't be much detail on the bottom here. No, nothing on the bottom there. A couple of small little parts. I see one of which fell off on my sprue during transit. But uh, look at that engine. I, this is the kind of thing you'd like to see this engine just separately on a little stand. Next up, we've got, and I'm just going to randomly start grabbing the parts out of here. Just like that. And now we have the D sprue, which has a few of the engine parts on it, as well as the wheels. Looks like some of the, I don't know if that's wiring harness or it actually is part of the engine there. And the barrels on the guns. It's very hard to get that to focus on the tip. It always wants to focus on the rest of the, uh, the sprue. But be assured that they are hollowed out. You can kind of see because this is a uh, slide mold here. And of course, you will get two of this particular sprue. So you've got your uh, 20 millimeter cannons as well as the uh, regular MGs. Now we're going to jump into the fuselage here. We're going to see if we can get as much light reflection on the side of the fuselage as possible here. Zoom in a little bit here so you can see how nice looking this is. This is the cowl flap because you can open up the side of the, uh, the cowl and see that beautiful engine if you spent all that time working on it. You can see the indents in the uh, part of the tail. 
It's more of the internal structure. The other side of the cowl, and of course the other side of the fuselage too. Just like that. And now we have our drop tank. And actually more parts of the cowl here. So this is where those two machine guns will go. Next up we have our prop spinner. Tubes have been hollowed out with slide molding. There is part of our cockpit. Instrument panel. There we go. And just like the fuselage, the wings are same level of detail. Very, very nice looking. Here is the top of those wings. Just like that. And the last plastic we have are the two sprues that make up the canopy. So you see it'll go like that. And now we can look at all the other parts. And next up we have the decals. And you get two big sheets inside this kit. Uh, the first one over here is like the generic ones. So we have our uh, German national insignia, swastikas for the tail, uh, parts for the, the uh, cockpit, plus all of the little tiny, uh, you know, warning labels, things like that, that would be all over the side of the airplane. And then you have the actual ones that are for the actual markings for the individual units. And there's a decent number of units inside of here. In fact, I believe at least four airplanes. So you can see in some of that. Plus we also have these bands for the tail. So you've got a white one, this cool bright orange, yellow, and a dark red one. And of course I will show you inside the instructions to give you an idea on that. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at the photo etch that comes inside here. This of course is also included with the kit, just like that. So let's look at the instructions now. And here they are. Here they are for the Focke-Wulf 190A6. And we'll just kind of jump right into it here. And I'm gonna show you the individual pages, let you see how it all goes together. And then of course, we'll show you the color profiles in the back of the book here. And of course, don't forget, if you want to see something longer, go ahead and hit your pause button on the player that you're using. Because we won't spend too, too much time. This is just kind of give you a generic overview to see how much, uh, how much work is involved in putting this kit together. And finally, this is the page where all of the little uh, placards go. And we're gonna jump right into the actual color profiles. And immediately, if you're paying attention, you're gonna notice a mistake. And do you guys see it? Yep, it is the ultra, ultra rare Messerschmitt Focke-Wulf 
190A6. Yes, it should have said Falkwolf instead of Messerschmitt up on top there. And after looking through all of the different ones, they all say Messerschmitt. So Messerschmitt must have been making stuff for Falkwolf back then, <laughs> according to them. But uh, it's just a minor printing error in the actual back here, but we all know it's a Falkwolf. But some really cool looking markings that come with this uh, this kit. I'll keep flip flopping these around so you can see all of them in here. Actually, I think there's even more than than the four markings I thought. There's I think there's a total of seven or eight here. You got that one. This is a cool looking one right here too. And then finally, oh yeah, two more pages. Okay, so looks like there's a total of eight of them in here. Finally, this one right here. Once again, the very ultra rare Messerschmitt Falkwolf 190A8. So looks like you can do an A8 as well as the A6 out of this kit based on those decals right there. So that is it, guys. That is a look at the brand new, soon to be released Falkwolf. FW190A6 from Border Models in 35th scale to go along with all the other uh, kits they come out with. Uh, you know they already have a Stuka out in 35th scale. They have a uh, Messerschmitt 109 out and uh, I've heard through the grapevine. I can't tell you what it is but they have more coming out very very soon too. So keep an eye out. 35th is going to be a, a popular subject for border doing airplane kits and it's it's nice to have something a little bit different especially when they're as nice looking as this particular kit is well there you go guys uh obviously the kit looks pretty much done we have uh completed instructions we have completed decals photo etch all the sprues are all cut we have box art so I've got a feeling this kit is going to actually be shipping out to us very, very soon. Haven't gotten an exact date on it, but they told us it'll be coming out soon. Unfortunately, I don't have a price on it yet, but uh, if you're familiar with our website, andyshhq.com, you know that we always have extremely good prices on border. And as soon as I hear that this is done and loaded on a uh, container going to the United States for our website, we will immediately put these up for pre-order and uh, you, you'll be able to get in line because I think this one is going to sell very well. The, uh, the 109 and the Stuka both sold out on the first wave really quickly. Now we are ordering more of these, but uh, still it's a beautiful looking uh, Folk Wolf and it's going to sell extremely well on this. So if you get a chance, keep an eye on our website. And of course, if you haven't done so already, if you like this video, go ahead and hit a thumbs up on it. And if you haven't done so, you go ahead and subscribe. And that way you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. And we'll also have some more information when the actual kit is going to be released here in the United States. So there you go, guys. I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. And please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.